Honey, when was the last time you baked a cake? Last week, dear. When I was growing up, we thought that the position of women was biologically dictated. What a wonderful sight when your wash is done. And so we didn't feel we had the right to be equal or to be angry. It was the 50s and the women in college were still being educated to be mothers and the wives of executives and so on. And we were not learning about anything that had to do with women's own status in society. As Women make up 51% of the nation's population. Are they, in effect, an oppressed majority? Feminist leaders charge widespread discrimination. Discrimination that keeps a woman from having an abortion if she wants it. I went as a journalist to cover a hearing at which women were standing up and telling their abortion experiences. Women are not going to sit quietly any longer. You are murdering us. I had had an abortion when I first graduated from college. I was 22, and there was no women's movement then. There was no companionship. So I never told anybody. Uh, all right, will you please sit down or be removed from no, the... No, we aren't going to sit down. Why don't you give us some solid uh, answers to our questions? And I listened to these women testify about all that they had to go through. She gets pregnant, she's treated like a common criminal. She can't get an abortion. The injury, the danger, the infection, the sexual humiliation, you know, to get an illegal abortion. And I suddenly realized, why is it a secret? You know, if one in three women has needed an abortion in her lifetime in this country, why is it a secret, and why is it criminal, and why is it dangerous? And that was the big click. It transformed me, and I began to seek out everything I could find of what was then the, the burgeoning women's movement. When the women's movement started, I was the in-between person. You know, I was neither the mother nor the daughter. I was in between, and perhaps that was helpful. What sort of a reaction have you encountered from men or from women since you've let it be known that you're active in the women's rights movement? Well, it's interesting. It's sort of, um, it's extreme, I think, uh, in both directions. I mean, I, I now attract at any kind of gathering men who are very hostile to this movement. But the most, the most touching response is from women because uh, it's like it pours out all the frustrations and humiliations and my, you know it's um, I I don't think I'd ever felt part of a group before I'm always reminded of, of a quote which did not come from me as is sometimes said if men could get pregnant abortion would be a sacrament we regard abortion as the method of last resort in birth control, but we say with equal fervor that it is a method which must be freely available to all who need it, for whatever reason. This wave of the women's movement established reproductive freedom as a basic right, like freedom of speech or freedom of assembly. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. The majority in cases from Texas and Georgia said that the decision to end a pregnancy during the first three months belongs to the woman and her doctor, not the government.